Hello everyone, John Thomas here with the HomeSalesForce.com team, brokered by eXp Realty. And um, just wanted to uh, touch base today on the mortgage market and um, how things are looking here at the towards the end of April, April 22nd today, um, 2020. Um, you've heard about uh, forbearance and deferral of payments. Well, forbearance does not equal forgiveness, just so you know. Uh, they kind of tack it on at the end of your mortgage or whatever other arrangements you make with the lender. So getting into forbearance is easy and well-defined. Uh, getting out of it could be more of a um, lender by lender situation. So you always want to talk to your loan, loan servicer before you m start missing payments and get what any pl whatever plan they offer you in writing. Um, as of uh, April 17th, there were 3 million homeowners who have uh, started forbearance and luckily that means Massive supply, a massive supply of uh, foreclosures is not going to hit the market, at least not for the you know next 12 months. Hopefully, people will get uh, back to work and caught up uh, before then. Uh, the CFPB has uh, the best overview for yourself and for your or for my clients, as, such as you. So check with the CFPB website for more information there. Um, and. Appraisals. If you um, are in the process of getting a loan right now, appraisal, appraisers are not entering homes um, from the property inspection. You know, more property inspection waivers are being used. Uh, desktop appraisals are more common and it's done on a case by case basis. So um, and also sellers can request specifics in the appraisal order like masks be worn, um, you know, or in gloves and shoe coverings and so forth. So have your seller make it easy, all the lights on, all the doors open, so they don't have to be touching anything um, that they don't, you know, you don't want them to be touching. Um, so I, I touched on that one already. Uh, some deal killers out there um, that, you know, are possible right now. Um, verification employment. If you think you're a buyer or, you know, if you think you're the buyer and you think it's going to, uh, you know, you're going to experience a change in income and talk to the lender to plan ahead. Uh, COVID letter at closing. Most lenders are requiring a borrower to sign a letter at closing confirming no changes in income and employment status. So if there's been a change, be aware that you're going to have to probably sign something. And sometimes buyers are getting cold feet out there. So, you know, talk to your lender, talk to your agent, um, talk to your, you know, biz, you know, talk to, you know, somebody that can help you uh, determine or your buyer determine if you're the buyer determine you know what your best um, course of action is you know so talk to your mortgage broker talk to your agent and um, you know let them give you the you know the information that you need to make the best decision so um, that's it for now I just thought I'd do a quick update on what's happening here at the end of April so that's all for now uh, if you have any questions feel free to call me directly